In this task, I'll introduce the SpatialLite geodatabase format. SpatialLite spatially enables the SQLite database so that you can store geospatial data in a relational database. Right now I have QGIS Desktop open, and I'll click the Add SpatialLite Data button to open up the Add SpatialLite table window. I'll click the New button to establish a connection to a SpatialLite database, and I'll navigate to the Lab1 Data Geodatabase folder and select the NGD SQLite database file. Click Open. And next I'll click Connect to connect to this database. So I see two layers, NHD flow line and NHD water body. You can see one is a polygon and one is a multi-string layer. To add these to QGIS Desktop, I'm just going to select both by using the Control button and click Add. And both layers are added to QGIS Desktop. So you can see it's straightforward to add existing SpatialLite data to QGIS. Now I'll import a shapefile into the database. So I'm going to go to the Database menu, to the Database Manager. I'm going to expand the SpatialLite section, expand the NGD SQLite database that we've just connected to, and I'll see the two layers and then a number of additional files in this database. These other tables store information about the geometry and coordinate reference system of the GIS data. To import a new layer into this database, I'm going to click the Import Layer button. To select which layer I'm going to import into the database, I'm going to click the Ellipsis button. Then I'm going to browse to my Lab1 data folder, into the Geodatabase folder, and I'm going to select this NHD point shape file and click Open. I'm going to use this output table option here to name the table within the database. I'll call it NHD point, the same name as the shape file had. Under options, I'm going to click the source SRD and type in an EPSG code of 4269. This is the EPSG code for the geographic coordinate system of NAT83. And this will tell QGIS what the coordinate reference system of this data set is. If you wanted to change that on the way in, you could select the target SRID and it would reproject that data on the way into the database. I can also choose to create a spatial index as I import this, but I'm just going to keep the rest of the defaults at this point and click OK. I get this message that the import was successful. I'll click OK on that. And now I'll simply click the refresh button and scroll down and I'll see my NHD point layer. And you can see each geometry gets its own icon. The point icon is different than the polygon and line data. To add this to QGIS Desktop, I simply right-click on it and choose Add to Canvas. And I'll turn off these other layers and you'll see that now my NHD point layer is added to QGIS Desktop. Next I'm going to bring up QGIS Browser. I'm going to expand the Spatial Light section. Well first I probably have to refresh. Now expand the spatial light section. And you can see that I'm now connected to this NGD SQLite database and you can see the two layers that it started out with and the one that I've added to it. And I can preview these spatial light layers within QGIS browser in the same way that I would with a shape file. In the next task you'll examine the coordinate reference system of the lab data.